NASA team members have been working for months now to open a sealed capsule with space samples that landed in Utah. This was back in September. It's always so fascinating, and they're finally able to open it. Digital reporter Eliza Pace has details. Hi, Eliza. You guys, this is really cool. This spacecraft is called the OSIRIS-REx, was the first of its kind for the United States. So it was launched actually in September of 2016 to get samples from an asteroid near the Earth called Bennu, which doesn't that just sound like a Star Wars name? <laughs> the spacecraft got the sample and landed in Dugway, Utah on September 24th this year, but there was a bit of a setback. There were two fasteners or screws that were stuck and we encountered that in uh, very quickly after arrival at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. KSL News Radio spoke with Dante Loretta, the principal investigator of the OSIRIS-REx mission. We were able to go down our science path, learn some amazing information about the nature of that material. And all the while, you kind of had this little treasure trove of uncertainty that there might be even more excitement. And so it's kind of like having a second Christmas. You get to open the package again See if there's anything new inside of it that may enhance the science results you've already uh, uncovered. NASA worked to develop new tools specific to removing the lodged fasteners. Their work was successful. Now it's all about what they found inside. The most exciting thing so far is that some of the samples are coated in a white kind of salty crust. And we've learned that they contain high abundances of phosphorus, which is a central element for all life on Earth. So what we call the astrobiological implications of the sample look fantastic. Scientists believe the samples from the asteroid will give clues about whether asteroids colliding with the Earth billions of years ago provided key elements for life to begin on Earth. Really exciting insight into how organic chemistry progressed before life existed and how it might have actually led to the very first life forms on our planet. The implications of what they found in the asteroid material, it's really cool. So we've got a great explainer about the space mission and more of what scientists found and what that discovery means for us on KSLTV.com. Eliza, I'm so grateful for smart people out there, aren't you? <laughs> Me too. I think in another life I would have been an astronaut. I yeah. love space. I, I do too. I just wouldn't be smart enough to be an astronaut <laughs> and do all that stuff. So we don't like to do a lot of things. We've been given yeah. certain, certain stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Eliza. Thanks, guys.